Welcome to Modeler Hippo and the first episode in me trying to build a, an inboard electric motor for a 36 foot sailboat. The motors I'm going to use are two golden motors. They are 10 kilowatts in output each. They are brushless and they are water cooled. And the whole project started with me getting some basic information about, for example, where the motor would sit. It's replacing a Yanma 39 horsepower, as well as the angle of the, uh, the motor shaft as it comes in and couples up with the propeller shaft. So when I had those two components or those, those two values, I could then start to, um, to design. So what I did, I downloaded QCAD and I made a set of parts, which I then later sent off and had laser cut. And when they were laser cuts, I had them, uh, I made some, some threads for bolts to go into them. And I'm now at a point where I'm going to start to assemble these parts and also put them into position where a friend of mine can weld them together properly. So this episode is about the assembly before I send it up for welding. If you have any questions, then put them in the comments and I will, I will answer it as well as I can. Okay, let's do it. So the first thing I built, uh, not the first thing I built, but something I built to, to kind of replicate the end product or where it's going to sit is this wooden board, which is 360 mil in width. And that represents the shelf that the actual motor sits on or the old Yanma motor would have been sitting on. So it's literally just a replica of, of what the boat will look like. I'm still building the boat, so that's why. So. Uh, I got a couple of these these feet. These are kind of anti-vibration rubber feet that are used with most, most boat motors today. Uh, it's just to make sure that the vibration doesn't go into the actual uh, boat itself. So I had a couple of those. Not a couple, we had four of those. And these are quite good because it allows me to also just uh, adjust the... Uh, the height on, on certain sides. So when I get the motor shaft to go into the propeller shaft, I can adjust uh, certain certain kind of angles to, to kind of repoint it a bit. Uh, what I got after that was... God. I designed two of these. And these are the, the, side, the side feet. So they fit on here. So that is literally where the, the motor will, will be supported on. So that goes there. And then another one that goes here. And what we can do is we take these. I can just secure this temporarily for now. So these and these feet will take the whole weight of the whole motors, motor assembly uh, and should basically, the rubber here should remove the vibrations. So this is the rear plate of the uh, motor housing that I've designed. And this is basically where the motors will sit on the, on the back. These will allow it to slide up and down so I can use adjusters here to uh, tension the the belt the pulley belt that comes down here of both of them so what we can do is start with putting on one of these uh, uh, one of these uh, 
bearings, which is just standard bearing that I've bought from uh, from internet. So we'll put that on here. And then I have also designed three rods that should align everything to allow me to to weld this while the shaft is lining up between the front plate and the back plate. So I'm going to put these in here and not only will they help with the alignment they should also although it's going to be welded it should also make sure that it gives a little bit of extra support. There's a lot of torque in these engines or in these motors so we want to make sure that there is no twisting going happening between the front and the rear of the plates. So we have that that allows me to take the shaft. So I've had this shaft made which is literally just a stainless steel rod and I have made sure that it has a little bit of a cutout here for a, a, a key steel. So when I put on the actual um, pulley wheels, I can lock them in with a keel steel on both sides. Because one side will go um, towards the propeller shaft and the other one will be the rear side of the actual motor that will then go up to the motors themselves. So if we put this now in a position where it is like this. We now have starting to see a little bit of what we're looking at. So what we can do is put the front plate on. So this is the front plate of the actual assembly. So if we put that on here, we should be able to align this, and then put that down, and we'll put some some washers. Now we can tighten that up. Oh, come back. Here we go. Let's tighten that up a bit. So we now have something that looks like this. So front plate, rear plate, and what we can do is put that down like that. Well, you know what, let's put it the other way. This is 10 millimeter stainless steel, so it's getting a little bit weighty, uh, which is good, because that will, will help with stability. So we can put the the rod in the uh, the shaft, the motor shaft. And then we can put on the other opposite sides bearing. So we'll put that in like that. And then we can come down here, and we can then put that in place. Hold that come out a bit. So that's probably more where we want it. So that gives an idea. So we now have it's so far. So what I'm actually going to send off to be weld, welded is these two side supports 
that one goes here. I should go. One goes there. Let's see. So one goes there. And one goes. Let's see. There we go. So the idea is that's going to be welded and welded to get some stability. And this is a part that supports underneath. So that goes in here, like that. And the idea is that it's going to be welded as well. So to help with alignment, I put these little kind of teeth in. So that's about it. So I'm going to send this off now for, uh, for welding of these pieces. So when it comes back, I can start then to put the motors in and all the sliders, the pulley wheels, etc., and uh, move the project forward. So um, there you go. Thank you for watching this first episode of the Motor Build. Uh, I will leave a link in the description to a blog page where you will find all the links uh, to uh, places where I found different parts. Uh, and also if you have any questions pop a question in the in the comments and I will respond if you want to see the continuation of the uh, motor build then feel free to subscribe and uh, I'll see you next time thank you